Good morning, everyone. How you doing? Okay. I, you all know, I say this quite a bit. I try to be very clear about listening to all of you. All right. And I can't always reply to all the comments. There's just way too many, but I am reading them and listening to them. Okay. So I, there's definitely a need for me to apologize for not being clear enough about my thoughts two days ago on the vlog about the coronavirus, okay? So I just wanna put a, a quick video out. Uh, I'm gonna keep it under five minutes about uh, what I was attempting to say, and I apologize for not being clear enough when I was comparing the coronavirus to the flu, to the swine flu, to the Spanish flu. Um, I was not clear enough with respect to, on the scientific level, it is stated by many doctors now that the coronavirus is much more contagious than the, the common flu that we see on an annual basis. What I was attempting to say two days ago was that on the big scale of all the numbers with respect to the annual flu, how many people get the influenza every year versus the coronavirus right now, that's the key point, right now, I'm still keeping it in perspective uh, with respect to the numbers. But scientifically, and that's where I was not clear enough, scientifically, this definitely is more contagious according to the doctors that I'm listening to. Um, and also the fatality rate is, uh, is high, is much higher uh, right now, right now. Now, as the testing increases across the United States and around the world, that number, according to the doctors, and I'm pointing inside because I'm getting updates and listening to the doctors, um, it will drop uh, as more testing happens. So I was not clear enough and I do apologize. And of course, as I said yesterday, thank you to everyone in Italy, in Europe especially, because that's unfortunately become kind of the center of this at this present time, which okay, it's my shit, I should have said at the beginning, it's March 14th, let me just confirm, March 14th, 8.01 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. This could change at 9.01 a.m. on March 14th. As you know, it's just continuing to evolve hour by hour. And one last point before moving on to the racing is that uh, I realize like this could get much bigger, but I'm not going to project. I don't have a crystal ball. Again, just listening to the experts. We don't know how big it's gonna get. We don't know what the spike will be. If the spike will be blunted, we just don't know, okay? So I'm not gonna project as far as how big it could get. But at this present time, I am keeping it in perspective. And with respect to racing, uh, the, as you know, the London Marathon has been postponed. Um, the Newport Marathon in the UK, they're gonna, it sounds like they'll make an announcement on Monday. We'll see what they say. Again, I'm not projecting. We'll just see what they say. Same with the Irving Half Marathon. They have put uh, the Irving, so I'm just doing my best to listen to the officials, the government, the local governments uh, in Irving, Texas. They have put a seven day, the mayor has put a seven day uh, ban on gatherings of over 500 people. Now the Irving Half Marathon falls outside of that uh, seven day window. And again, we'll just see what the experts and what the government officials decide. All right. So thank you for listening to that. I just wanted to be, I wanted to clarify and uh, I'm with you. I hope you're with me. We're in this together and uh, I appreciate you stopping by once again on this Saturday morning. I hope that was a little more uh, clear as to the point I was trying to make two days ago. And in case you did not see the vlog from a couple days ago and you want to go share some of your, I think there's over 400 comments on this vlog right here where I talk about uh, the coronavirus and marathon racing spring 2020. You can go click on this right there. All right. Thanks for being here. As always, see beauty, work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.